welcome to Rising Stars. Buying a unique and original gift can be a task sometimes, but to simplify that dilemma, Yatim Hunts uh, started BigSmall.com, an online gift shop perfect for those quirky friends who are so difficult to shop for. Welcome to the show, Yatim. Give us a lowdown. What exactly is your website all about? Uh, what are the kind of products that you're selling? So BigSmall.in is an online portal where we curate uh, unique products uh, from across the world. Uh, we basically want to curate these products which are creative in design, uh, have a utility value to that and they can be linked to a person or a personality or occasion or could be trend based. So be it any product so many times. We see a person, you know, we want to gift that person, but we don't understand what to give that person. We always go for conventional gifts, you know, dude, I know this guy likes chocolate, I know this guy likes flowers. Right. We go give that. But what happens when someone sees our products, they automatically see a product and they're like, dude, this is perfect for this person. Right? Absolutely. So that's the concept, that's mm -hmm. the target. Uh, we want to categorize our products in such a way that they hit a particular personality, uh, but they also be creative in design and not just be good looking or exciting to look at, they need to have a utility factor to that. Mm -hmm. That's what stands our brand out that okay I want something but that something should not just be a showpiece but should have a value to it. You've been in operation three years now, what's the kind of response that you've got, what are some of your popular products, what's the kind of feedback that you've received from your customers? It's been great. Uh, first of all, I'll tell you, we've been uh, bootstrapped and our company is profitable right. uh, in three years. So first year was more of a proof of concept. It was a passion project uh, between Aman and me and we started uh, with very limited products and today we have three, three to 400 products, right? Uh, so it's going well uh, in terms of how our company is growing. We have uh, our customers basically love the quality of our products. They are enjoying the quirkiness of these items. The difficult part was so many customers didn't believe that such products exist. Right. Right. So they used to ask us, you know, does this product even actually exist? If I order, will I get this product? Right. So we pay very smart there. What we did is we on the website we gave an option, right? WhatsApp us right now to get a real time video or a photo of this product on any background, any table you want. So you can see actually like how this product looks in real. Right. right. So we started doing that and unbelievably we started getting more than hundred WhatsApp each day. And today we're getting some 300 WhatsApp. We have a special team to basically handle that. Yes, so it helped us building there. Uh, initially, I would say when we started, we had only one or two products which were like a super hot product. Mm -hmm. But today, I cannot pick point, say one product, I'd say this, right. because each product actually targets a different personality. Right. So that depends from people to people. Some people like this, some people like that, yeah. What are the kind of hits that you get on a one month basis? How many active consumer, uh, consumers do you have? So from starting from 30,000, uh, which was I'd say two years back, today we have around more like 3 lakh uh, hits per uh, month. And what's the average ticket size in terms of the kind of sales that you make? So average ticket size ranges somewhere between 1,000 to 1,400. Yes, yeah, so that's, that's a fairly uh, big number. What I wanted to understand mm -hmm. by asking that is, how do you fend off competition? You are a niche play, you yeah. are offering uh, you know, a select bo uh, boutique of products. How yeah. do you fend off competition from the larger players out there, and of course something like an Amazon, yeah. which then has uh, the power of scale and pricing on its uh, favor? See, Amazon's a very different uh, player itself. Amazon, yes, we both are in the e-commerce segment and now e-commerce is getting very saturated because of so many players and a lot of yeah. players die out very quickly. It's important to stand out. Uh, stand out, we want to stand out, we stand out because we are in a particular industry. We know our target, we're in the gifting industry, right? In the gifting industry, we also know where we are, we're in the unique creative gifts industry, so it makes us more targeted, mm -hmm. it makes us more niche. Our curations uh, the most important thing. We have a selected curation. What happens on Amazon or even say Flipkart, where people know what they want to buy. So you know you want to buy a TV, you want to buy a phone, you just go there, you search, and you find the best option. When someone comes on our website, right? It's also a discovery. Yeah, it's a discovery. It's content. Right. Like you're reading something new. So many people get inspired just by seeing the product. So you get excited. So it's important to have a limited collection so that people don't waste that much time because you see in usual time for a customer on a website is one minute to one and a half minutes, right? In that much time he has to choose a product, buy a product, you know, and like to finish the full transaction. Mm -hmm. So a curated collection helps that mm -hmm. and we feel like our brand stands out there with our collection, uh, how we offer to the customer and we also keep on refreshing this collection. Right. We don't keep it a limited. So something you would have seen six months back, you would say, hey dude, I want to buy this item, you know, but that item is not available now. Right. Because for us it's important to keep refreshing, keep getting new products. So so many times we have to retire a hit product as well. 
Mm -hmm. Because we think right now it's not the trend anymore. Maybe it's, it's good for a few people, but it's not in trend anymore. So we need to get a new product. We need to keep the fast fashion moving, fast trend moving. So in that sense, a brand basically keeps looking refreshed mm -hmm. and adds this collection of curated niche products which helps the customer ease out the gifting process. So what next from here? Where do you see yourself going in five years? How are you going to uh, expand or diversify your uh, company as it were? So for now, our company is growing very well uh, with uh, marketing. Our marketing being very strong, right? So it's mostly social media marketing, and uh, we're doing very well organically. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say organically, the lot of customers which come, 90% of those customers end up buying things. Right. So we want to grow that more uh, in terms of marketing. So what we're doing is we're creating content pages, more and more blog pages for us, and we want to make this content very strong. Mm -hmm. We want to give a platform to a lot of Indian design innovators. So not just so basically product innovators and many product innovators in many places in India. Uh, we want to give them an opportunity to basically showcase the product on our platform mm -hmm. where our platform basically becomes that creative platform in India right. uh, where anyone can buy these unique products, you know, because a lot of people have ideas. Right. And a lot of people have weird problems, you know, right. like I've given one example, there was a problem with a customer that he said after taking a shower in winters, uh, my mirror gets foggy, what do I do, you know, right. and there was a product which we came up which was a wiper. You could simply stick that wiper like the car wiper and just wipe it up, so very simple. Right. So a lot of people have these quirky innovations, uh, we want to get them on board but also be very careful with the quality aspect. Mm -hmm. So that's how we are building this content to reach out to more and more people and become that platform say next five years where right. people can come on board and show, showcase their creative aspect. Yeah. Give us a sense of this industry while we know about the larger e-com story but gifting in particular there yeah. are traditional brick and mortar brands that are very very strong in this category. Yeah. They of also offer customized solutions. Yeah. What's the kind of competition that you have with them and vis-a-vis -vis how what's your uh, strategy to tackle that competition? So with uh, brick and mortar, I think the biggest uh, competition, the biggest edge, which I think is the time. They can give you the same thing at that time, right? right? And in gifting, accuracy really matters. Yeah. So that is something we are coping for with partnering with the best delivery companies. Our brand knows whom to tie up with. So we have tied up right now with the biggest names in delivery company in the world. So our delivery has been on time so that is something which you feel is a big competition but people also have a reach concept so say you are sitting in Mumbai today and you want to send a gift to someone in Delhi or, right. or other places then the pick and mortar never comes into place right. right and it's easy for you to just scroll on your website even at night at 2 o'clock you remember that someone someone's birthday in 2 days so you can just simply send that gift that's it right so that's where e-commerce plays its role and it's easy to use it's faster to send and has a bigger reach right yeah and you are chipping away at that competition? Yeah, I think we are doing very well with that, yeah. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, good luck to you, uh, Yatin, uh, and uh, wish uh, the very best to the team at Big Small as well. That's uh, the unique gifting uh, website for you. Do check it out uh, for some quirky gift ideas that you may not know you, have, you would have wanted for yourself or somebody else, but definitely will help you discovering a lot more than what you know out there. Thanks for uh, tuning in on this edition of Rising Stars. That's all we have for time for now.